Hello fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Star Raptor and welcome to the channel. On this video review, I'm going to be talking about Dark Droids and Star Wars issue number 38. Getting started, we have Star Wars issue number 38 here. And this is, as I said before, basically the Lando Lobot storyline here in between Empire and Return of the Jedi. We have Lobot that has gone haywire. Lando thinks he could help him out by going and finding the talkie droid that he unfortunately sold to Jabba the Hutt. Um, for the rebels basically um so he goes to jabba's palace and we get a little bit of a backstory about how suave and cunning lando is because we have a situation in the past where lando and him basically fit into a location where they shouldn't have been simply because the disguises they use and lando says it's all about the confidence if you exert confidence people will buy into any lie that you give them and that's exactly what they do to get in jabba's palace and we have Lando wearing the iconic skiff guard gear. So that we get to see him again. We've never seen him having that armor. Or it's actually Beckett that was wearing the armor, I believe, in Solo Star Wars Story. So yeah, we're getting ever closer to Return of the Jedi. So we have this battle that has already been fought at this point. There's an ongoing battle. Why are droids versing other droids? Why are they trying to kill organics? It's all because of the Scourge, who is the cornerstone of the Dark Droids crossover that we are currently in. And we have the talkie droid that was managing to get out of there alive. And, and so sparked all these droids doing crazy things. So Lando is able to get far enough to find the talkie droid that was actually in Jabba's Rancor's lair. And then we leave off in this issue where we are beset upon our heroes Lando and Lobot. By none other than a bunch of Scourge droids on one side and a Rancor that just woke up from a nice quiet nap and is not happy about being disturbed on the other side. And that's where we leave with this issue. But things I want to point out is first of all, seeing the Gamorreans versus the droids. So we have the talking to be the talkie droid in the beginning of this issue. By you, the talkie droid is a very old droid that dates back to I think even before the High Republic. It's a droid that's able to translate a whole bunch of coded languages and that's why it's very important that he was taken in by Jabba the Hutt who wants to have that as an asset so anyway this droid is basically going around and trying to run for its life flee for its life runs into Gamorrean guards instructs the Gamorreans to take out these droids and the, the Gamorreans completely obey faithfully another point I like in this issue is when Lando first gets into Jabba's palace he stumbles upon a Dewitan patron who is kind of He's a little bit turned, right? He's, he's kind of been shaken up a little bit because you have killer droids running around the palace for no reason. So Lando is tired of this guy trembling and I give him the information he wants, which is where the location of the talkie droid is. So he continues to threaten this man with a blaster to his forehead and gets very serious very quick. So the thing was with Lando, he's, he's a very cool, charming guy, very relaxed but when he wants to be aggressive, man, can this guy be aggressive? Because when it comes to him and his friend Lobot, we're already, we've already seen this. He'll do anything for this pal of his. So I thought that was pretty cool there. Um, yeah, so overall, uh, we also see a Boba Fett little cameo there where, you know, Boba doesn't no notice Lando, which is kind of funny because obviously an empire, it's a big deal there. And the, the whole idea of the flashback, seeing the, the clothing, the big wigs, uh, the hide the cybernetics of, of, of Lobot. Very 70s vibe. Really absolutely loved it. So yeah, really enjoyed this issue. And next up, we have the mainline series of Dark Droids issue number two. Now, first off, I like this cover. I didn't really talk about it for the first issue, but the fact that this is actually mimicking the original Star Wars A New Hope um, poster, movie poster is fantastic. Um, first it comes to the metal, and then as we've seen this issue, they're going to go for more of the metal. They want organic material. So this scourge that has been trapped for millennia in the Fermata cage has now been let out because that's Crimson Dawn didn't know, Kira didn't know what to do. She doesn't know what the power she's messing with. This droid has now took over the entire galaxy as far as spreading its domain throughout different cybernetic type of things, right? All type of droids. It now hungers for more. A sentient being inside of this droid hungers for more. And that's where we have different perspectives throughout this issue. This is the big event issue that's going to tie together Bounty Hunters, Darth Vader, Dr. Aphra, Star Wars, D-Squad uh, D that's coming out in a, in a couple weeks. So we get a lot of the thoughts of this droid. We get a lot of the thoughts of the Scourge, the inner thoughts that's mixed with 
the um, this sentence, right, that this spark eternal, which has a mind of its own, it's melded with this scourge. And they make a powerful duo, and we learn about why this wants to meet. And it's still a little bit hazy for me exactly why. It just It's not satisfied. It wants more. It wants to take over every single thing in the galaxy until there's nothing to take left. There's not a lot of motivation that I can see about this, but it's just being evil. So it wants to now take over organics. We see that it is failing. It can't take over stormtroopers. Next thought is, oh, what happens if it takes over cyborgs or half man, half cybernetic? It's not working out quite the right way either with that. They comes to the conclusion that the only way they can actually take over organic is they take over an organic that has the ability to use the force. Now, there's not many cyborgs that have that ability other than Darth Vader. And that's where we see this issue leave off is the fact that they are trying to go after Darth Vader. There's a lot happening in between the lines there. First, we have Ajax Sigma, who is a droid that was basically hidden uh, throughout the galaxy before after the events of the High Republic, the Jedi shut him down, hit his power matrix, Han Solo discovered it and all that. And now he has now kind of has this big following, these, these visionaries, as he likes to call them, these free thinking droids. And now he is basically a warrior priest from a certain point of view. And he is now gearing up to go to that very first Star Destroyer. I was taken over by the Scourge. I like seeing him gear up. He's got all of his uh, very stoic very determined followers and he's going out there so i love that part of the story we also see c3po who's we know is possessed by the scourge having a conversation with luke and luke is like hey why are you asking me these very specific questions about the force this is very uncharacteristic about you so i like that and the droids the scourge know there's a time there's a ticking time bomb right once these organics figure out that there's something wrong with the droids in the history that has not ended well for the Scourge. So it's trying its best to get its kind of plans underway. And speaking of which, its plans are pretty grand. Because what happens with the Rebel fleet is the Scourge is able to set up a distraction. C-3PO that's possessed by the Scourge is able to get out there. And a lot of crazy stuff goes on. Um, I like how there's a reference to Fison Gore. So Scourge is talking about the uh, plausibility of basically taking over cyborgs or different kind of things. And, and Fison Gore has research on putting these arms on these cybernetics. Who is Fison Gore? Fison Gore is from uh, Lando Last Shot or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's a, a story about Han Solo and Lando back in the day. It's And this is the main character from that. It takes place like two or three years after Return of the Jedi. So that guy's around there. But yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. We get some information about the beginning of the Scourge. Scourge uh, was out doing crazy stuff, trying to evolve. And a Sith found out about it and, and put it in the Fermata cage. So we know the Sith put that there. What I will say is this issue is very wordy. I know we have five issues. Maybe they should have used six or seven because sometimes I feel like... And I Man, I, Charles Soule is one of the best Star Wars writers, but he to me, is known to be a little bit wordy sometimes with his um, kind of backstories and all that. It almost reads like a novel sometimes, and it's just a lot of information, a lot of information that felt a little bit redundant when you're getting into the mind and narration of the Scourge, and I just felt like, okay, that might have slowed things down a little bit, but, I mean, there's definitely a lot going on, a lot tying in. I'm happy so far to see that the the tie-in Star Wars, Darth Vader, Dr. Aphra, Bounty Hunters are not reliant on this to tell their own stories like they were in War of the Bounty Hunters where we're getting repeat um, panels of what we saw before. We haven't gotten there yet. Maybe we won't ever. Hopefully we don't. But so far, I am enjoying this. If you are enjoying this, let me know in the comment section down below. For more on Star Wars, you can find me every Thursday around 12 p.m. Eastern Time talking with Matthew uh, Neugebauer talking about the latest in Star Wars comics. So, yes, we'll be talking all about that. Outer Rim Transmission, my podcast here weekly on the channel every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. We're talking the, the latest with all that. So make sure you go ahead, subscribe, hit that notification icon so you never miss another video. That's going to do it for me, Star. Thank you so much for watching. May the Force be with you always.
Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.